On the afternoon of October 28, 2020, three Kern County Sheriff's deputies were involved in officer-involved shootings at two separate locations in East Bakersfield. The following presentation is intended to help bring context to the facts surrounding this case. This presentation contains a map of the location of the incident, audio recordings including 911 calls and the radio conversation between the dispatcher and deputies, and body-worn camera video. Some of the audio and visuals we're about to present may be disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. 911, where is your emergency? Water Street, there's been a shooting. Somebody was shooting a gun and there's a guy on the ground that was moving like trying to get out of the way. Could you send me a paramedic to 1000 Water Street please? 1000 Water Street? Yes, yeah, some of the shot I saw. Chupal on Frank with the subject down. Chupal on Frank with the 245 victim. Control on Chupal on Frank. My subject suffering from a gunshot wound to the right leg. Severe injuries. Suspect will be Hispanic Mouth 30s, black shirt and company of a female wearing orange clothing, last seen eastbound in the alley. At 2.59 p.m., a male, later identified as Justin Escada, is seen walking northbound in the 3000 block of Dartmouth Street. He's in the company of a female, later identified as Serena Rodriguez. Deputy Christopher Gonzalez, an eight-year veteran of the Kern County Sheriff's Office, attempted to locate the suspect near the scene. Deputy Gonzalez circulated the area and located Escada and Rodriguez near the intersection of Dartmouth Street and West Point Drive, a few blocks north of the shooting. The following video was taken from Deputy Gonzalez's body-worn camera. Where are you guys coming from? Hey, hey, come here. No, you. No, guy. Two phone one calls. Two phone calls, 998, Dartmouth and West Point. Hispanic male, gray shirt, armed with a rifle. Escada shot at Deputy Gonzalez, and Deputy Gonzalez returned fire. Escada was armed with a rifle. Additional deputies, as well as officers from both the BPD and the California Highway Patrol, arrived on scene in an effort to locate Escada, who fled into the alley. Units on Nelson, he's coming your way. He's, uh, he's coming out to the alley now. Could be a male, blue jeans. He's shooting at the helicopter now. Everyone, he's uh, firing at the helicopter. He's firing at the helicopter. He is now firing at the helicopter. It's one Both the pilot and the tactical flight officer were uninjured. The helicopter did not sustain any damage. Escada spent several minutes in this alley, occasionally jumping fences into backyards. A shelter-in-place request was initiated by KCSO, and multiple schools were placed on lockdown as law enforcement completed a ground search. At 3.24 p.m., a skate is seen entering the south side yard of a residence in the 3000 block of Dartmouth Street. He's wearing a blue bandana over his face. At 3.28 p.m., an armored law enforcement vehicle and multiple personnel arrived to the front of the same residence. The residents are evacuated for their safety. Detective Vidal Contreras and Deputy Miguel Orozco have positioned themselves at a neighboring residence to the south. Detective Contreras used the rear door for cover while Deputy Orozco remained inside. The properties are separated by a six-foot high wooden fence. Detective Contreras, an 18-year veteran of KCSO, was not equipped with a body-worn camera. Deputy Orozco has been employed with KCSO for three years. His assigned body-worn camera was active. Still moving! Going northbound! Correction, east! 
front of us. Is he on the other side of the fence? Detective Contreras is at the rear door of this residence. He fires one round. Escada is on the ground just below this frame. In this angle, Escada is seen running east along the fence line. At least one bullet strike is seen in the spotlight. At 3.53 p.m., law enforcement personnel enter the yard in which Escada had fallen. Although they can see Escada, their approach is methodical because Escada's firearm is still within his reach. Here's a closer look at the rifle that Escada was armed with. Medical aid arrived on scene at 3.59 p.m. Escada was first transported to an area hospital, then later to a hospital in Fresno for treatment. On November 14, 2020, Escada was pronounced dead at Community Regional Medical Center. All three deputies were placed on routine administrative leave pending completion of the investigation. The Kern County Sheriff's Office Homicide Unit investigates any use of deadly force by any member of the department. Their findings have been submitted to the Kern County District Attorney's Office for criminal review. On December 17, 2020, the Kern County Sheriff's Office convened an incident review board examining the use of force by Deputy Gonzalez, Detective Contreras, and Deputy Orozco. The use of force by Deputy Gonzalez, Detective Contreras, and Deputy Orozco was deemed to be within department policy.